Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Alone Squad? How you guys doing? It is Try Hard Wednesday, and uh, I'm going to be fighting a lot of warriors today, probably, just because Berserker Shield is pretty broken, and almost everyone is using warriors, so I figured, you know what, the best way to counter Berserker Shield is to play a mage, because, well, you can't build physical defense against a mage. Why? Well, I mean, I guess you could, but it would be not good, probably. Um... I'm going to go Book of Thoth. Or actually, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just going to go Bancroft. Just look at how amazing it I'm just going to go Bancroft. Oh, and I also am going to go Chalice. All right. Weird, weird start here. Don't really know why I'm doing this start, but it just feels like the right thing to do. Yeah. Um. So the patch was yesterday. Berserker Shield got buffed. 60 physical protection with 30 power. We don't lose and 25 percent attack speed and hp5 it's pretty spectacular so almost everybody is just playing warriors and using berserker shield right now so i really think the only way that i'm going to be able to actually put out content if i'm not doing that strat picking a warrior going berserker shield the only other way i can actually put out content without losing all of my hair is uh play mages so today is going to be either all mages with uh no real <laughs> not not too much variety in there just a bunch of mages or it will be a little bit of a mix between mages and warriors that are abusing um berserkers i haven't really decided what i want yet i missed that that's unfortunate i feel like i could totally kill this guy you're gonna die to minions be honest I missed everything. I missed absolutely everything. Whatever, I don't care. You don't scare me. Fight me, pansy boy. <laughs> I got level 5 because I hit the buff down. And he was just completely not expecting it. My guy was ready to fight to the death. And all of a sudden, I just smack him up with uh, with an ult. Unfortunate for him. Fantastic for me. By the way, I haven't mentioned it in a while. But um, for the entire year of 2022, I am doing a, basically kind of a charity event with subscribers. Where every 1,000 likes on my channel... Uh, we'll be giving away money to charity and every subscription I get for the year 2022 I'll be giving money away to charity. So go ahead. If you're not subbed, please sub and if uh, You are subbed go ahead. Just like the video All right, I'm not too scared of him I'm not too scared of him because if he ults me I can always just use my two and run away I think So I should be chilling That being said, I did just use my two. I don't know. He doesn't... I mean, he really just doesn't do too much right now, I feel like. There's just no point in me being scared of him. I do have my alt up in five seconds. I don't really have the mana for it, but that's... Okay. Now we alt. Nice. Nice. I just kept turning. So that he would uh, keep getting pulled in further and further and further until eventually he's just under my tower. Can't do anything about it. Now, the reason I'm playing Baron Samity, I said this in yesterday's video, but not today's, is his alt got buffed from 6% scaling to 8% per tick. And uh, from 60% movement speed slow to only 40% movement speed slow. So he got 20% faster and 2% more damage per tick, which is significant. Can I do damage? Well, oh, you are dead as heck, my boy. Okay, hold on. I missed. Hold on. Auto attack. Oh, I can't auto attack. All right, we're good. Dude, Baron having an HP chalice and a multi-pot chalice. Kind of absurd. Kind of just incredible regen. 17 HP per second. That's insane. 
I only get five mana per second back. That's fine. Did I just miss my two? Dude, look at how much regen I have, though. With the amount of not scared. You're dead. Man, I do not think he was ready for this. I think he was 100% ready for, like, a hunter or something. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Also, I want to say, I, you know, I've said this before. I read all my comments. In yesterday's video, um, I said she was, like, the best guy in Duel. I actually, like, agree with it. I think he's very good. But there is a lot of comments saying, like, oh, Horus beats Shiva in Duo lane and runs him in solo lane. And, um... There was a comment like, uh, let me try to remember what it was. There's a comment that said, oh, Nemesis beats Shiva. I gotta be honest, man. Shiva is completely slow immune in his three and has two different forms to knock out Nem Shield. There is no way Nem beats Shiva. And as for Horus, I mean, come on. It's dual. You really think Horus is gonna beat Shiva in dual? There's no shot. Anyways, I'll see you guys in game number two. That was a very quick game one. Yo, what's up, boys? I'm gonna play uh, Bologna. Gonna, I, I decided I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go just mages today. I'll play Bologna. See if maybe I can abuse a little bit of Berserker Shield myself. We'll see who we're fighting. Osiris. Okay, so we're both gonna abuse Berserker Shield. That was not what I expected to happen. Now that I think about it, that's that's obnoxious. But you know, who knows? Who knows? It happened. As the more combat trained one of the bunch. All right, let's see. Uh, obviously, mannequins in the berserkers is like the best start in the game, so I'm gonna do that. And I'll go. I'll go shell. I think. I'll go shell. And then one of each ability. It's gonna take more than half my mana. One of each ability, which is a little bit obnoxious, but maybe it will secure me red buff. Who knows? Keep a lookout. Nice, we baited his two. He's... Minions have spawned. They're disarmed. Mm. I think I win this fight, right? Because I'm also healing. Oh, and he missed that. That's huge. That's huge. Hmm. All right. Oh, he started. What is he going? Frostbound? Is he starting Frostbound? Dude, I hate the sound effect. I hate the sound effect for this skin. I picked it because it's new and I've never really used it before, but oh my god, the sound effect is atrocious. Alright. Alright, he got his blue buff. That's where he went. Is he going first item Frostbound? Or are you going Runeforge? Runeforge does work on Osiris because he has so many slows, but I don't know if he's going it. Because you don't really ever see people going... First item Rune Forge on Osiris. Or maybe you do, and maybe just I haven't seen it. I don't know. How much is Berserkers? $17.50. That is one expensive ass item. I think what I'll do is I will go back. I'll buy tier two and a chalice. Right, tier two and a chalice. And then we'll head back out. My sustain is pretty great. Uh, I have Shell, whereas he is horrific, so he's going to be having really, really good fighting potential because his Runeforge is going to get online first, and also his passive, obviously. All right. So far, I'm not too scared of him. Okay. He's doing good damage. I mean... The three, obviously, is the most annoying part of everything.
Well, that actually hit me. It's alright. I'll just wait it out. Just wait it out and use my, uh, my three to heal. And how much is this from tier two? 1250? Actually, not too far away from it. My damage is pretty great. I'm kind of pushing him under. I will say, though, he's waiting on me to ult him because he's going to ult my ult and then probably kill me. So, do got to be a little bit careful. That being said, though, the fact that I can get Berserker Shield the same time that he can get Runeforged is amazing. That's that's massive. Like, I'm going to have so much, so much better fighting potential than him right now. The problem is... With Runeforged and Osiris just in general. He's so good at peeling. Peeling himself away from me with, with the slow on his one, the slow on his two, the stun on his three, the horrific emblem, which is the slow. Like he is gonna slow the ever living shit out of me. So I'm gonna have to find a way to counteract it or to just fight through it. I don't know if there is a way, but I would love to try to find one. Damn. Red spawn just a little bit faster than I was expecting. Damn, he actually did enough damage with that. That's surprising. Mm. Oh. Okay. All right, there. I mean, that's everything great, great for me, right? Like, that was very, very good for me. Very good. And I live because Berserker Shield gives me a hell of a lot of uh, protection. And I want to really try to get this blue buff down before he gets here. I want to get that blue buff down and then do my blue buff also. Because I do not want him getting any XP right now. It was a very good first fight though. Very, very good first fight actually. My second item is going to be stone cutting. I'm not getting too much attack speed right now. I'm just getting uh, damage, but I mean, hey, if it, if it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. You ain't penetrating this. What now? It's time to fight. Um... I can't kill him here because he's just going to ult away, I'm sure. Oh, he lived through my uh, through my two. Even though the slam actually hit, he lived through it because of his, uh, his protections. He lived through it because of his protections from his ult, his passive. And he actually ended up surrendering. I mean, he didn't build Berserker Shield first item, so that's probably his, his issue. I don't beat this guy very often, so getting a five minute surrender out of it makes me feel pretty good, I'll be honest. Makes me feel pretty good. But uh yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Game two. That should put me in GM. I don't care too much, but I mean Diamond one to GM in one game is <laughs> weird. Uh but yeah, I'll see you guys in game three. Yo, what up, sexy Salamander squad? I am playing Tsukuyumi this game, and I'm gonna do, well, I was gonna do Berserker Shield, but it's a Poseidon, so I can't really build Berserker Shield anymore. The good old Platinum Border Dual Flexin. Honestly, I respect it. I know we can save the world. Honest to God, I respect it. Takes a lot of cojones. I think I should go beads. Reason I'm gonna go beads instead of Aegis is because uh if I beads my two, and yes I said that right, if I beads my own two, he krakens, I don't get stunned, and then he gets stunned, I still win the fight. I'm chilling. Also, I have blue stone, so I win this Let fight too. Unless I miss everything. <laughs> oh, I still kinda won the fight actually. Oh, 
You gotta run, my boy. Gotta go. Where's blue? I could probably go for the blue. It might actually be better. More smart, but... I'm just gonna auto-attack this down. Get a little bit of mana back from it. Hmm. Oh god. You know, I don't know if it's me or if it's just the skins, but I don't like the very small, like, almost, almost attempting to be like magical sleepy time sound effects on all these abilities. Bologna had the same one and I said I didn't like that one either, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just old and grouchy. No. Probably am just old and grouchy, honestly. <laughs> so what's good? You have Aegis? You have Aegis, so I can't ult you. I could ult you. I could at least get the Aegis, I guess. There we go. We'll at least get the Aegis from him. And we'll stall his level 5. I wonder if I could kill. I don't know. He gets 5 and then he, he maybe gets a little bit aggressive because... Kraken? Or does he not care? Oh, he doesn't care. He's not going to get aggressive. That's fine. We're very far ahead right now. We're 400 gold ahead in less than 2 minutes with no kills. That is really, really far, actually. And this is 1750. You can't really buy it yet. I'm going to do the same thing I do with Berserker Shield. I'm going to go back and I'm just going to get tier 2 in a chalice. We're going to try to poke the heck out of him. I need to get ready because his clear is getting better and better and better. And his pressure also going to get better and better because Kraken exists now. And I do not have ult. But... I don't even need to use anything for that. He just cracked in to save himself. That's the perfect scenario for me. Nice. Nice. I didn't have to use my beads on the Kraken because he just used it defensively. So what I did instead was I just used his beads. Or I used my beads on his one. And I was able to just walk through his one with beads up and stun him and kill him. Totally fine with it. I do need some sort of uh, mana regen item. I mean, obviously, Runeforge is going to be that item for me, but I don't have that yet. That was most certainly not worth it. That was definitely not worth it. He got the red buff. He did get the red buff, but he died. So I'd say on, on like top 10 things to do in duel, dying for red buff is, is not on that list. <laughs> like, like there's a lot better options you have than dying for a buff. I do have my rune forge now, so I'm going to be, uh, Gonna be doing a lot more damage, not just from the power from Runeforge, but also the passive. And then I think my next item is going to be probably just a talisman because it's gonna give me the attack speed that I want. Alright, you're gonna crack in. Too obvious, so I'm just gonna walk in, bait your crack in and run away. Went this direction. Let me know Go that direction. lurking about. I have incredible damage and slows, and that's going to get the kill. Now, you're probably going to surrender here. I can't imagine you still have the willpower to fight. I killed you three times in like 
less than two minutes, I think. Because there, was, there wasn't a kill for a while, and now I have three of them, so... I'd imagine it would be difficult to fight. Oh, he didn't surrender. Maybe, maybe he wants to fight through it. All right, we'll get his Aegis. Okay, and I will not care. You'll turn at me because you think you can kill me, and then I kill you. Perfect. Read like a book, exactly how it's going to be planned. You Aegis the alt. You're under tower. You think you're safe. But nope. Second my one hits you. Those eyes close and they don't open again. Put it that way. Alright, everything's safe. You thought I ran away, so I'm going to come back in and stun. I'm just going to auto attack. And I'm going to follow. The one has a massive slow on it. And then the three and the auto. I missed something. I had to have missed something because that should have killed. Maybe I just didn't calculate it right. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Maybe he had like HP pots or something. Oh no, that really should have killed. I don't know. Using my one, I can keep him at bay really easily. My one and my three. So he does have Kraken up and he's probably going to want to use it. But uh, chilling, man. I'm chilling. I want that red buff again. He has no Aegis either, so. My alt, when it comes up in seven seconds, is really going to hurt. All right, there's his Kraken. And this should just kill straight up. Amazing kill. And there's the surrender. Perfect. I think that's three or four. Five minute surrenders pretty much in this video so far. Just absolute decimation. Played Baron, Bologna, and Sukiyomi. I don't know who I'm playing next game. Maybe I'll play Cupid with his 10% more increased damage on, on Heart Bomb. Who knows? I guess you will in about three seconds. Yo, what's up, boys? I'm back and I'm playing Cupid like I said I would this time, actually. Uh, let's play Let's play a little devil boy. A little devil suit Cupid. This guy banned Shiva, so he knows what's good. He knows what's up. He's been playing a bit of duel and he knows that Shiva claps cheeks. So I, I'm in mucho respect to him. Also, he's a mage, so I'm not going to go Mannequin Scepter. And I'm instead going to go Gilded Arrow Transcendence combo. Buy some potions, head back, maybe buy. I could go Aegis because he's Poseidon, like I said. Or I could just go Shell. I'm going to go Shell probably. I wish there was something I could auto attack get my passive going in the start but that's unfortunate i wonder if they're ever going to change cupid passive hold on i'm going to go hella aggro real quick i wonder if they're ever going to change cupid passive to um include ability usages into adding a heart for the passive like a da using your dash would add a heart using your two would add a heart stuff like that but i feel like they should because it would like, I feel like it would work together with the other characters and how they synergize with their kits. But at the same time, it might be a little bit too strong. You know what I mean? He does have Tainted Seal. Keep that in mind. So he is going to be a little bit tough to uh, deal with. He wants his red or his blue buff, obviously. I'm going to not let him do that. Okay, never mind. I'm garbage. I'm going to kill the mini though. Yeah, I'm just going to be, like, hella annoying for him, I think. Oh. I didn't hit the, uh... I didn't hit him when I wanted to there, unfortunately. So now he's going to get the red. Or I could say fuck it. Try to fight for the red. Which actually ended up working. Interesting. Did not think he was going to let me. Oh, he's back. Oh, his one did 190 damage to that thing. That's really surprising. I'm in a bad spot. He might also be in a bad spot. He's in a much worse spot than I am, actually. 
dead. Perfect. Can I do this blue without getting murdered is the real question. Not sure. I have 28 HP. Please don't zoom your happy ass over here. Oh god, he's right there. Holy shit. He's he zoomed his happy ass over there, dude. Thank god I lived though. Thank god my back went off in time. My goodness. That was close. A little bit of a rocky start. Hello. Almost got it. My damage is okay. It pretty much all comes from my heart bomb, which is hard to say the least to confirm because of my passive and everything. Watch over me, please. I guess he had a ward on me. Yeah, he's just running right now. All he's doing is running away and farming. It sucks because like obviously Cupid is not going to be able to keep up and farm with a Poseidon. That's just, I mean, that's just smite, right? <laughs> like, I don't really need to explain that, but um, it sucks because I have a kill and I'm like almost not even ahead. You know what I mean? And all attack is pressuring me. I shouldn't have altered that actually now that I think about it because even though he's pressuring me, push me back. I want to go back. I want to just go get my trans. I don't know why I altered that way. Stupid. I mean, I knew he was going to be that type of guy. Knew he was going to just try to follow me and throw his three down and then run away again. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, like, I have a kill and I'm lower level and less gold. There's... It's unfortunately just Cupid Syndrome, but... Oh my. Oh. The fact that that two or that one missed. So unlucky for me. You don't have Bancrofts. You're just being your drug. Damn. That is a stun. Nice. Nice. Very nice. All right. We got the kill. We got the kill. I can do your blue. Hopefully. I don't like how close I am to dying to his blue every time, but fine, I guess. I really want to get Crusher or Beat Stick or something. Right. So he is going to do my blue. And pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have anything for crack in here, so I really got to pull out something from my butt. Okay, that was actually really good burst. The problem is now is Kraken's going to hit even harder if it hits me. Because, you know, Bancroft's. I mean, I am doing significant damage. 135 per auto is not a little amount of damage. It's just the fact that I have to, like, tiptoe around him right now. Alright. Alright, alright. This is so weird, because we're both rushing... Like, we both got damage items and then rushed into anti-heal. 
it's way better for me than it is for him because obviously he his damage item is also lifesteal. My damage item is just damage, so it's obviously a better situation for me to be in, but I mean, I don't know. He's got Kraken. And a lot of attack speed now, so my god. I'm pretty sure he's gonna dive and crack at me. I'm pretty sure it would be stupid for him not to. Oh, he died anyways. Let's go. Obviously, I didn't need to ult that. I ended up getting the secure with my auto, but I ulted it just in case I missed the secure with my auto. So it was definitely worth it. I don't know Rin when red spawns. What I do know is that I'm doing a pretty significant amount of damage to this tower, so I might be able to drop it. Red just spawned, actually. That's a stun, so you're actually... You're dead as hell, dude. Oh, you got a back. All right. Oh, I was hoping that might kill, actually. I did? I think I stopped him from getting red. I hope he didn't greet it, and I let him. That would be dumb of me. Oh my god, he did. He did greet it, and I did let him. I'm so stupid. Yeah, yeah. There you are. Oh, I stunned him, but I stu I just died straight up to the Kraken. Kraken itself did a quarter of my health. No, it did a third of my health. Jesus. Uh, I want to go Shogun's. Does that give me health? It does. Not too much of it, but it gives me a little bit, I guess, which is fine. Second Relic, I'm just going to go Beads, I think. And then, yeah, he's going to take my tower. Nothing I can do about it. Even if I ran out there right now, wouldn't really help too much. Not to mention, it doesn't matter too much at the end of the day. I think the biggest issue is that I I let him take red. Like, that was so fucking dumb. I don't know why I didn't just... Why didn't I just do red? Why did I do blue instead? I mean, I know why, because I thought he backed. But, I mean, obviously he didn't, so... Very, very upsetting. My end. Trying to burst this down. So that's a good stun. Alright, he's gonna run. Whatever, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna do this. I do a pretty decent amount of damage to this thing, so I'm not too, uh... Oh, that is bad. I'm dead. I, use, I had to use both of my relics there. Dude, I can't believe missing one heart bomb literally loses me the game. Oh my god, and that caught me. <laughs> actually got me. I missed slain. one heart bomb. Not only do I die, I lose my own Phoenix. That is so absolutely insane. That is so absolutely heartbreaking. I hit like four heart bombs in a row to get to that Phoenix, and then I miss one and I and I die and lose my own. I guess I kept it, but not by much. He does have Kraken up, so. Getting everything. He's also like incredibly fast. 
I can't catch him, dude. Can't catch him. Man. Oh man. The life of a Poseidon main. Hit him with the global emote on on the way back to your fountain. That is tragic. Toxic Blade is going to be nice. I'm not exactly sure what I want for my last item. I'm just going to go Kins right now. I'm thinking it's more than likely going to be an Atalanta's bow, though. Because Gilded Arrow is going to give me crit chance. Man, again. Missed the Harp Bomb and just had to run away for 14 seconds. Slightly annoying. By slightly mean. Slightly, I mean Omega annoying. Nice. Very, very nice. He wanted to turn that fight so bad, he decided to refuse the fact that I had beads. Thank God. For only a 14 minute game, I feel like this game has been going on for 35 minutes. But maybe it's just because all he's been doing is running all game. I mean, I don't know. I guess that's not true. He pressured me a little bit, but the pressure compared to the running is so small. That's a stun, so better run. While you run, I will do some good damage. Now he does have Kraken. Oh, the beads. I'm actually surprised that he uh, didn't go for the kill there. I got full out Atlantas. My attack speed is very, very good now. I just have to be careful because he can just hide a corner and crack in me and I die. And me dying does pretty much mean I lose the game. At this stage. Uh, I knew if I dashed in, he would stop his back. He's scared. He shouldn't be, but he is. I am not going to uh, use my one here. I want to keep my stun available. Alright. That's really big. I think it's really big just because like he, he seems so scared of me, you know? 
And him being scared of me is massive for me in the sense that it allows me to like put on all this pressure that I shouldn't really have. I do hit him, but like he's so tanky. All right. I need some pen. I don't really have any. In my whole build, I don't have any. Five hundred pot. Will that really add anything? What's your defense at? Oh my god, two hundred. Shit. You're actually really tanky. Are really tanky at 200 defense. Uh, I probably sell. I don't know. I want to say sell beat sick bucket. You giving me red? I know he placed a ward over here. I don't know if he still has that coverage. He's dropping wards everywhere now, huh? Let it All right, well, we got his beads. We're certainly not getting this. Oh god, I literally let that walk into me and I'm shit on. So nervous about this game. Mainly because I can't help but feel like I don't have too many options. What's my crit chance at? 34%. All right. Nice. He actually thought it was a stun. Thank God. If he didn't think that was a stun, I was dead. I am so lucky. I am so lucky. Your middle phoenix is under attack. Now on to trying to defend this. Let it that, it, that one is a stun. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Big stuff. Red up. Oh, red is up. Let's go. Even better. Even better. Oh, my goodness. 
Hell of a game. Do I actually win off that? Your team has I didn't originally think that I went off that, but maybe I do. No, I don't. I do a lot of damage, but I don't win off that. Nice! Let's go! Another kill, and that, that actually solidifies the dub. That was an amazing game. That was an amazing game. I had an uphill battle for sure. A very, very uphill battle, but we ended up actually winning. Holy crap, hell of a Cupid game. Anyways, I think that's going to conclude the Try Hard Thursday, or Try Hard Wednesday, I guess. Um, if you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe once again. Make sure to subscribe and like the videos because it does help charity for the entire year of 2022. Go ahead, press GG. Um, 2800 MMR, GM, not bad. Not bad. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace.